Coming up so great right there. But one thing you got to look out for, you got to look out for Daniel Carr, Robert Galinta. I think it is too late for them to make a push. And until then, watch how we've got Divine diving under and making that nice steep angle right up to the top and swimming his heart out. Here comes Abram Devine, Glenta and Carr trying to catch him, but they're not going to do it. It's Abram Devine of Stanford in a time of 140.11. It is Craig and Carter in lanes four and three who are one and two. Here comes Dylan Carter. What kind of finish does he have here? Can Cameron Craig hold him off? And Craig will do so in a time of 133.09. Fifth. Lynch had a spectacular start. Watch, he is going to pop up ahead, and this race is so short. It is down and back only twice, so starts are so important. Turns are so important. Right there, I don't think that he had a great turn, but in lane three, uh, Condarelli, he had a great turn, and he's ahead right now at the halfway point. Yeah, going out, Condarelli at time 19.74. And it appears that Condarelli is getting faster right now. I don't even know how this is possible. Watch this turn. He is so tight in a ball. And look at him coming up swing, but here comes Lynch. The meet record, 41-38. Lynch trying to catch up to Condarelli. Final few yards here. It'll come down to the touch. And it is Santo Condarelli, 41-98. <laughs> the big thing you got to be careful of is the exchanges. We have seen DQs in this event in years past. On Carter, Chatham Dobbs going to give it off to Jorge Iga, and it's Condarelli who touched first at a time of 42.18. And Carter, the Estonian bullet, Ralph Trebunsov in his final race at the Pac-12. Hard to hand the stick now to Justin Wynn in the water for USC with the lead in lane five. Now, Wynn. With USC's Justin Wynn with a lead. Andrew Liang of Stanford powering hard. Nick Thorne of Arizona. But Wynn, the freshman, will win it for the Trojans. And Andrew Liang and Stanford, they finish second. Nick Thorne and Arizona in third.